Hi right, guys, today we're having a quick look at a 2018 BMW. This is a two litre X1 X Drive. Um, I've had the use of it for 24 hours. So I just thought I'd give you a walk around if you're thinking of buying one or you just just have it a look. This isn't a review by any means, it's just a walk around so you can see what you're getting for your money. the interior what I've found when I've been driving it it's quite quite a long car um, this particular one when you're reversing it you, you do notice the size of it however on this particular model there is um, a reversing camera on it so that that does help another thing I noticed when I was uh, driving it at night uh, you, you can't really tell now um, but along here you can see these lines here these illuminate, which was a bit a bit unusual. I wondered what they were to start off with. It looks like something out of Tron, but it looks it looks quite cool to be honest. Um, the only thing I would say about the interior is it's very nice. Um, I've got an M Performance car, my own car, but and I found these seats really quite. Um, I wouldn't say they're not comfortable, but they're quite hard. I think on a long trip, maybe um, you'd know you'd driven the mileage. Um, I don't know, it's all, I suppose it's all down to personal preference, but um, I just felt they were a bit hard. There's plenty of leg room in the back. On this particular model, the seats are, um, they do fold down. Whereas on some BMW models, it's always an optional X, sometimes an optional extra. This is one of my favourite ones on, on this car. You've got your key fob and Let's see if we can get it to work. The boot goes up. I really do like that. Sad that it is. Um, a reasonable size boot. Got storage under there. Something there as well. A little bit of storage there. This actually closes by means of a button on the top there. And press that and it goes down. Another nice little touch that I found in here. There's a button there for the tailgate as well. So if I press that, that goes up from there as well. And then if we go back again, press that down. Obviously I haven't got the ignition on, so let's try putting the ignition on. See if that works. No. Let's try again. Um, no, it doesn't want to know. I think it's because I've got the doors open. Let's do it manually. But trust me, it does work. <laughs> Have a look under the bonnet. This one's a diesel. This is an X drive, as I said before, four wheel, all wheel drive. It has actually got a good turn of speed to it. Um, I've been to work and back a couple of times in it um, during the day and during the night. And it's this one's um, automatic. Um, I think a lot of cars are going towards the automatic now, it's, they're easier to drive, I don't know whether people are getting lazy, but I quite like it actually. Um, as I was saying, 8 speed gearbox, it's also got the paddle shift on the, um, on the steering wheel, and I've never, uh, never really used these before to be honest, but uh, I was uh, pleasantly surprised and that the speed that, uh, at which it changes up and down was uh, absolutely rapid um, I don't know whether it's a car I would buy personally I've I've got a 3 series at the moment and I quite like this this I've just borrowed for the day as a courtesy car um, 
but I do like it. Um, if you've got a family, you know, there's plenty of room in the back. Fuel economy is pretty good on this. And as for, for a turn of speed, I thought it was very good for, for a larger car. Um, it, it's not it's not a performance car by any means. Um, but having said that, it, it is quite nippy. It does stick to the road well. As we said, it's X drive. So in the in the winter in England, it's going to be great. Uh, I know my car is uh, mine's a three series and it's rear wheel drive and in in the snow or it's absolutely absolutely hopeless so I hope that's been of uh, help if you're watching the video it's only a quick video really just so you can see you know what what you're getting for your money these are relatively new cars um, so I just thought I'd uh, give you a little bit of an insight so uh, I'll leave that one with you hopefully you've uh, you've uh, enjoyed the video if you like the video give me the thumbs up and uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel that would be great too peace out